hey everybody welcome back to my channel so before y'all judge me on this video i want you guys to see this quick clip from my ig stories to see where the inspo came from follow me on uh youtube y'all know i only use coconut oil to like moisturize my skin but i always put like a thin layer of like something that smells good on top because don't nobody want to smell like just coconut oil you know so i always put like something on top and y'all i've been using this as lotion and it says body wash like this whole time i thought this was lotion i've been using this for weeks y'all and it smells good now. I haven't had no issues, but that is so weird. Like everything has multi-purpose. Like y'all really need to look this shit up because. <laughs> so one of my supporters messaged me and asked me to use it on my hair. So I did a poll and it was basically kind of 50-50. So I was just like, whatever, let me go ahead and try this on my hair because I don't know about y'all, but back in the day, anytime that we ran out of body wash, my mom would say, just use the shampoo. And I was like, we can't use shampoo on our body. It's only for our hair. And she'd be like, girl, it's the same stuff. Like, go ahead, use the shampoo on your body. You'll be okay. And it turns out I lived and I made it okay. <laughs> like, there's nothing wrong with products that are pretty much multi-use. Because at the end of the day, a lot of these products have the same ingredients. Like, a lot of y'all were really mad at me for using that Dawn dish soap on my hair. But that was the softest, honestly, that my hair has felt using a shampoo. Like, my hair felt great. And a lot of other people that have tried it have had good results too so i was excited to try these body washes on my hair um as you guys can see they both say on the back of them that they have shea butter coconut oil and cocoa butter which that's a lot of the stuff that's usually in actual shampoos or conditioners so why not just try it out i'm gonna use the um the sweet as a peach on my right side well i guess that's the left side on this video and then i'm gonna use the um the hello beautiful on the other side they basically have pretty much the same ingredients i feel like the only difference is the scent of them but i just wanted to try the different ones on each side just to show you guys but y'all cannot tell me that does not look like lotion because i've literally been using this body wash as lotion this whole time y'all and i've had no like breakouts i haven't like had like it kind of like foam up or anything on me like it literally has been being used as lotion because i was just misreading the label this whole time so i was surprised that i use it as lotion for weeks like weeks and weeks and never seen a difference until i actually read the bottle and then like as soon as i put it on my hair you guys see it lathered up super super fast which of course i love because it makes my hair super clean it does not have as much slip as the dawn dish soap did though like i wasn't able to easily detangle my hair like i was with the dish soap which i was like kind of surprised by because since the shampoo has you know shea butter coconut oil cocoa butter um sunflower seed oil you know i just automatically assumed that it would be like a really great detangler and have really good slip compared to the dawn dish soap like you know dawn dish soap is used to remove oil grease stains stuff like that so i assumed that the dish soap would make my hair super dry but actually the shampoo that has all the good ingredients kind of made my hair not feel dry but it just didn't have that slip that i was looking for like the way that the dawn dish soap had slipped like i was able to like detangle my hair with it the shampoo really not this isn't even shampoo y'all like i'm tripped this is body wash <laughs> i'm really going through it this body wash did not have that same effect as the dawn dish soap so i was just really surprised for the way that they're made like the ingredients wise i was just assuming that the body wash would have a lot more slip but Really, the Don Deer soap had more slip than this stuff. So you guys are basically going to see me repeat the exact same step on the other side just using the other body wash which is the Hello Beautiful Saint.
So this is my hair completely covered in the body wash, you guys. It really was not that big of a difference compared to shampoo. Like, I cannot even lie. This stuff is, like, basically like shampoo. And you guys know I love a good slow-mo when I'm rinsing out my hair. So this is in slow motion. But my hair was low-key pretty shiny after rinsing that out because it did, like, Kind of feel kind of not really i don't want to say my hair felt dry but my hair just didn't have a lot of slip when i was trying to like finger comb through it and everything so i was really surprised that my hair had this much shine after rinsing out that body wash And this is what my hair is looking like, completely rinsed out of the body wash, you guys. This stuff really did not make my hair dry at all. Like, my hair does not look stripped or anything. It doesn't look like it needs to be deep conditioned, but of course you guys know. I always follow up with the deep conditioner. Today I'm using the uh, Marc Anthony uh, Re Defrizz uh, Moisturize Hydrating Mask. This stuff works so good and it's super thick, so you guys know I love thick products. But you know, I just really made this video just for people that you might have a day that you just ran out of freaking shampoo and you don't know what to do when it's wash day. Like you guys can use other products because most of these products have the same ingredients. And then even if there's a day you just don't have enough money to buy a new shampoo or buy some deep conditioner, like if you guys go to Walmart, they have like deep conditioners in those packs for like only a dollar. Like you don't have to buy like a whole container for $15 or anything like that. Like it's just good to use your resources and be resourceful with the stuff that you do have instead of worrying about the stuff that you don't have. So if there's a day that you just don't have no shampoo, reach for your body wash and you might have the same results. You might even like your body wash on your hair better than your shampoo, you never know. So I really just made this video for that purpose just so you guys can be more resourceful with the stuff. You don't have to go out and spend all your money on freaking products because you might have stuff in your house that work just as good. And the curls are popping you guys like you cannot tell that i used body wash to shampoo my hair and then followed up with the deep conditioner like this looks like any normal wash day like there's really no difference in this and you guys already know i got another slow mo for you guys rinsing out this deep conditioner and that's gonna pretty much end off this video